kind of sticking on that same thing of the, the story variety and the, the Nielsen ratings report came out. Not only did they talk about the top 10 stream movies of the year, they talked about the top 10 streamed television shows of the year. And whereas in the movie side, it was kind of shocking to see that not a single streaming original movie was on the list. Here's something interesting. Not a single original streaming show made the top 10 TV shows streamed of 2023. This, again, comes to Nielsen. The number one, no surprise to everybody, the number one stream show was Suits. <clears throat> Ray will be like this. Yeah. The number two stream show in the world was Bluey. In your face, baby. Yeah, Bluey. There it is. <laughs> uh, NCIS was number three. Grey's Anatomy, number four. Coco Melon was number five. The Big Bang Theory, number six. The Gilmore Girls, number seven. Friends, number eight. Heartland, number nine. And oh, it did my heart happy to see that Supernatural was number 10. And again, not a single original direct-to-streaming TV show on that list. Not a one. It's all archival stuff. It's all collections. It's all, also, as a matter of fact, a friend of mine <clears throat> texted me this morning and even suggested you should do a story that says, do we even want new stuff anymore? I think we do. I think numbers on things like Reacher and whatnot do, but not a single one. By the way, I'm sure my dad is happy. Heartland made number nine on the list. <laughs> yeah. Now, as far as the original streaming series, their top ones were Ted Lasso at number one, The Night Agent at number two. That's I don't know a lot of people watching, but I guess everybody's watching it. Uh, Ginny in Georgia, number three. Virgin River, number four. Love is Blind, number five. Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan, number six. Gabby's Dollhouse at number seven. The Mandalorian at number eight, The Outer Banks, and The Lincoln Lawyer. Uh, I believe The Mandalorian, yeah. Mandalorian is the only Disney Plus one on the original side. Uh, on the overall, it, had a, it has a number of the top ones, but on the original side, there's that. <clears throat> Rob, I mean, we, we, we had the discussion about the movies, right? Streaming original television shows have gotten really excellent. Yep. Andor, House of the Dragon, Last of Us, Succession, The Crown, on and on and on. But it seems like when it comes to viewing habits, people like the stuff that they already like or something. I don't know. What did you make of this list? Well, here, I would also say that, look, streaming, you have a lot of people as they, I hate to say this, but as I'm getting old myself, people like comfort food. And, and a lot of people, like when they retire, for instance, they have a lot of extra time and they want to watch rather than find something new, they turn to things that are, and I'm not saying only retired people watch these things, but people like comfort food. NCIS. They like, yeah. The, a, lot NCIS, of, they, a lot of retired people watch and, those and, shows. And, and you've got 10 years, 20 years, whatever. I mean, how many, how many uh, uh, Dick Wolf shows have gone on for 100 years? Probably a lot. But, but also, I do think, though, that these great streaming shows in 10 years... People are still going to be watching them. You know, like Jack Reacher is almost a perennial favorite. To see something like uh, Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan be in that top 10 list really warms my heart because let's remember, John, that Jack Ryan has been in our theater screen since 1990 with Hunt for Red October. And in our bookstore since even before that. And before that, I mean, you you, you know, you had Hunt and you had Red, Red Storm Rising, and it's like these are these are quantities of characters that people know. I love its literary character too, like Jack Reacher. Um and and this is something I mean we're seeing this stuff rise to the top and uh you know what it, it says to me that shows that are good Ted the fact that Ted Lasso is the number one show yeah. that's an Apple Plus show and, and an we always think about show. Apple Plus is bringing up the rear what there's a new Apple show that people are telling me about it's called like spy thriller or spy something there's some spy show that I don't know the name of it and I I always go to Apple Plus by the way I watched um have you watched the new uh, uh, Wings, the the World oh, War II flying? Oh, uh, fly! No, not Flyboys. Uh, air. Masters, uh, Masters, Masters of the, of the air. air. I have not. I had somebody call me and say they watched the first episode and they didn't like it, but I, I haven't seen it myself yet. It, I've, there's only been two episodes. It's beautifully made, and the flying visual effects are the best that are, have ever been done. If you go back and you watch Air Force One, you're like, boy, I really wish they had the special effects of Masters of the Air. Because, but anyway, it, I, I liked it. But I'm telling you, these streaming shows are new. 
But once they permeate the country, the pop culture uh, consciousness, I think then there they are. You're going to see these same in ten years the same shows. People are going to be watching Jack Ryan over and over and over again. These new shows they just don't have the 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 they haven't permeated everyone's minds yet. Yeah. But they will because you get rewatchability. I think a lot of times where these older shows pay off is people put them on because they want to not necessarily sit and binge. They're cleaning the house. They're doing things around the house. They're working from home or they're working on a project and they just want friends on in the background. Right. Or, right. Remember, I can almost guarantee you right now at my house, little house on the prairie is playing. <laughs> Gosh, but there's a reason for that. I mean, you know, it's interesting to see that these shows have playability. I mean, I go back to when I was a little kid, John. I'd come home from school and there was a block of sitcoms. There was Leave It to Beaver from the 50s. You know, there was I Dream of Jeannie and Gilligan's Island and My Three Sons. And these were shows that were 20 years old. And I was watching them as a kid over and over and over <laughs> again. Brady Bunch and Partridge Family. Yeah, it's true. We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Fume. Quitting cold turkey is great in theory, but you and I both know it's way more difficult than that. And that's why there's a better way to break your bad habits. We're not talking about some fake online promises. We're talking about our sponsor, Fume. And they look at the problem in a different way. Instead of a drastic, uncomfortable change, why not just remove the bad from your habit? Fume is an innovative, award-winning flavor air device that does just that. See, instead of vapor, Fume uses flavored air. Instead of electronics, Fume is completely natural. And instead of harmful chemicals, Fume uses delicious flavors. You get it. Instead of bad, Fume is good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy and makes replacing your bad habit easy. I personally didn't know what to expect when I first got my Fume. I mean, I've never liked vapes, but my goodness, the taste. The first time I tried it, I was completely sold on it. It was incredible. Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard, but switching to Fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun. Fume has served over 150,000 customers and has thousands of success stories, and there's no reason that can't be you. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume.com and use the code CAMPIA to save 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's tryfum.com and and use the code CAMPIA to save an additional 10% off your order today. Anyway, guys, question <laughs> is for you. Well, what do you think of this? Like, uh, all the top most streamed shows, none of them are, are streaming originals. They're all archival stuff. How do you feel about that? Whatever you guys think, jump down in the comment section below and let us know your thought. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.